What's up, everyone, and welcome back to HBCU Game Day. I am Simone Stanley, and today we are joined by 2023 NFL Draft prospect out of the University of Arkansas, Pine Bluff, Mark Evans II. Mark, thank you so much for the time. I'm a problem. Thank you for having me on. Of course. So, Mark, you're originally from Texas. What made you want to go to U UAPB coming out of high school and why did you believe that program was going to get you ready for the NFL? So coming out of high school, uh, I didn't have any offers. You know, I originally committed to a junior college, uh, Novara Junior College out here in Corsica County, Texas. But uh, University of Arkansas, Palm Bluff came out, reached out to me like very, very late in the process, like the day of my graduation. That's why I got the offer from them. So yeah, they was one the only D1 school. Like they was the only D1 school to offer me a scholarship actually. So, you know, I took that to my heart, I took that to heart to me, you know, I really didn't know much about APCU as, as a whole, but you know, they really came, came down and kind of, you know, nurtured me and taught me everything that they had to offer. So, and why do I think they would get me to NFL? Because they all, they, they had a uh, track record to do it in the past. Uh, as in Teron Armstead, he played the same position I played. So, you know, somebody looked up to. So, you know, I know if he, if he did it from there, I know it's possible for me to do it, for me to do it from there as well. And a player has not been selected out of UAPB since Teron Armstead, and like you said, he played your same position. How inspiring is that to see him not only go to the NFL from your alma mater playing the same position, but turn into a four-time All-Pro in the league? Uh, it's extremely inspiring. It's the level he's doing. You know, he just didn't go there and make it. He went there and he became one of the best. You know, playing people from all the power five schools and all levels of football that you know they come from, they you know they really expect him to be better than you know from HBCU players. So you know, to see him going there become an all-pro, become a uh, pro bowler, you know, multiple seasons, just amazing. You know, it's something that I can look forward to do. It's kind of like paving the way for me and the people come up, coming up behind me as well. We love to hear it. So, Mark, at what point in your college career did you feel like your game was going to the next level and you were turning into an NFL-ready lineman? Uh, I probably want to say probably that, that spring season we had all that time off. We played that season in the spring. <laughs> That's kind of where I feel like my game took the biggest jump as far as, you know, just being able to go out there and dominate on both sides, you know, being able to dominate in the run game and the pass game as well. You know, it's kind of awesome. People started taking notice. Like the year after that, that's when I got that NIL with Denny's and all that, got on all the All-American lists. Uh, my third, uh, first team all swag happened that season. And, you know, that was kind of like where it kind of just rocked it off. And I just kind of like took off in a way. Okay, so you also participated in the NFL Draft Combine. What part of your game were you focused on showing off to the scouts? Uh, we just showing off the versatility. You know, it's kind of like a lot of drills going out there and doing. Kind of like you got to show off. You can you run block, you pass block, you move in space. And I just want to go out there and showcase that I can do it all. And we know you're a versatile guy. You can, like you said, you can run block and you also can um, be a force as a pass protector as well. But what part of your game do you think is the strongest right now? Uh, right now, just really my depth and understanding, like, you know, what angles to take when I'm going against the defensive line. Like, you know, what they use, uh, it's a run player or a pass, but understanding that angle and that prediction how you take off, just, you know, kind of win the box before it's even started. And what part of your game are you still working on to improve the most? Uh, working on, you know, my reaction to the inside pass. Well, that's something I kind of struggle with, but, you know, something I'm working, working on every day. Okay, so you've been around a lot of scouts. Um, you've been on the biggest stage, pre-draft stage at the NFL Combine. What part of your game do you think is going to translate the easiest from college football to pro football after being exposed to so many different things? Uh, I'll probably just say the athleticism part of, like, you know, just taking my fork and being, being, being able to get in space, you know, to really maintain boxing on the second level and all that. So I feel like that translates well to, to the NFL and also my, my – uh, my, uh, my exposure to the outside, you know, zone scheme, inside zone scheme that we had, Arkansas Palm Bluff, like, you know, scouts look at that, you take, take note of that as well. Okay, so I've seen a lot of people saying that they can see you slide into the inside. You did play tackle at UAPB, but I see a lot of people saying they can see you slide into the inside and playing guard um, on the NFL level. How do you feel about possibly making a transition like that? Uh, so in the Shrine Ball, I already made a transition, you know, just kind of showcasing me so I can, I can play, you know, the interior position. I played center. I played left and right guard. So, you know, I feel like I did a good, good job of showing that I can make that transition and, you know, play and not have, you know, a drop off in uh, competition or, you know, level of play as well, you know, as, as I was at tackle. I feel like I can make the same production. 
Okay, so who are some guys, we talked about Teron Armstead, but who are some other guys that you have looked up to and watched their film, take pieces of their game from? Uh, guys like Isaiah Wayne, you know, he's a tackle similar to me, same factor, you know, both of us being 6'2", you know, being undersized in a way, you know, I look at him, see what he does, you know, gets to the top, especially every Sunday, so, you know, I'll see what he does, kind of, you know, still things, bits and pieces of him, kind of, you know, add into my game and see what works for me. Okay, and what about some matchups? When you were at UAPB playing in the SWAG, you went up against a lot of really good defenders. What are some of those matchups that you remember from college that made you stronger? Uh, probably playing my little brother. I played him two times. Uh, you know, he was playing defensive me and I played tackle. So, you know, I asked a lot of him. <laughs> so, you know, playing him, that's why I remember, you know, he's a real good pass rusher, you know, very tenacious and high motor, never going to quit him like that. So, you know, go out there and playing him in front of my family and everybody was just a good experience, you know, made me better, made both of us better in a way. And how was that with the family? Are they rooting for one of y'all? Like, somebody got to win that battle. How was uh, that? I mean, they won the game, but, you know, it was always a game within the game for me. So, you know, I won the matchup between him. But, you know, if I was them, I'd root for me because you know, I've been doing it longer. <laughs> That's probably look like, you know, the more surefire, the more smart decision to make. Right, of course. So you guys know each other's moves, of course, because y'all. Yeah, I know his. He probably don't know mine, but I know his. <laughs> All right, lastly, I know you're from Texas. Did you grow up a fan of... Any of those teams down there, the Texans, the Dallas Cowboys? Uh, no, nah, I wasn't really a Texas fan like that. I got here because I was originally from St. Louis. So, you know, I was always going for the Rams and everything like that. But we got the Texas there. I was a Texas fan, but you know, I already didn't, you know, buy in on that train. I was still going for the Rams. So they left, but, you know, I already didn't know what, know what it can go too far. So I stayed rooting for the Rams and everything. Okay, so you, you've been rooting for the Rams the past couple of years? Yeah. Okay, all right. Well, you got a Super Bowl ring recently out of that, so hasn't been too bad. Not too bad. You know, Texas ain't winning in a little minute. They probably on the come up. Yeah, they might be on the come up. We got some picks, draft picks, new coach. They got like 11, 11 of them things. Yeah, so we're going to see. We are going to see. But, Mark, I appreciate you taking the time, of course, to chat with me. All right, problem. Thank you for having me on. Of course. Well, guys, I am Simone Stanley. This is HBCU Game Day. Thank you guys so much for joining us.